Greetings and salutations from the road. This is Brian Horst with Soil to Soul and Be Horst Productions. I'm popping a video out because uh, y'all are going to see some crazy stuff coming in the future. I, tomorrow I leave Minnesota to fly to Washington and pick up a 45 foot garage hauler, or I'm sorry, a garage coach. And uh, that'll be my new home, my new studio, my production vehicle, and my transporter of all the products and whatnot that uh, the entrepreneurs are going to create on my farm. I'm shaking you around here a little bit here, sorry, because I gotta show you Sleepy Beauty in the back. This is what he does when I'm driving. That's right. There's Tanner. Tanner, the naughty boy. But we've reconciled for his naughtiness, and I learned some things. I learned that when you stray away from the positives, the purity, the universe will actually kick you back in place, and the universe kicked me in the balls when it took me it away. And I know why it did. I started talking about money, I talked about lawsuits. There's some weird stuff going with, with my family. And I love them all, but sometimes it's hard to love. But I think it's Tony Robbins that says, you gotta, if you love the ones that help you, you gotta love the ones that hurt you because they're the ones that build you and make you stronger. I think I've referenced that in the past. It's not my stuff. That's that's Mr. Robbins. If you like a good documentary, check out his on uh, Netflix, I believe. Tony Robbins, I'm not your guru. You can believe it, you cannot believe it, whatever. I'm a guy that actually believes it. Because I actually have experienced some of the stuff he talks about. Uh, but yeah, my life is still changing. I'm selling a triplex in the cities. And uh, that's where I'm basically getting this stuff. And I'm buying, uh, I'm going balls deep into the farm world and events. Because, well, that's the way the ethos is directing me. And when I go out to Washington, I'm gonna hook up with a, a former classmate of mine. Uh, third, I think he's a third cousin of mine. His name's Jeff Johnson. We ran parallel lives in high school. We both were bullied kids. He got it a lot worse than me. So I've found out. But he's come through it. And he's powerful. That's one little nugget for you. Anybody that's been bullied, beat, work it out. Get in therapy if you need to, but work it out. When you heal from that, you get, you get some crazy powers, I believe. And I'm only saying this because it's what I am living right now. It's weird. The ethos. God, whatever name you want to put on it. The higher power that's out there that nobody actually knows who it is. So all you organized religious people, I respect you and I love you, but do not say you're the one and only because you don't know what you don't know. When did you die and, you know, and, and find out what happens after? Also, your religion is faith-based. Faith is in your heart, it's in your soul. Don't worry about it. Nobody's gonna come and get that. Nobody can take it away. Be confident in it. And stop making everybody else believe what you believe. That shit needs to stop. It's not doing any good in the world, which is really weird, isn't it? The stuff that proclaims to be saving people is killing people. It's dividing us. Respect. It's not hard. I had one guy say, well, it's not hard to accept Jesus Christ into your life. That's all you have to do. I get that. But you also need to respect those that don't believe that. And that's okay. They're not gonna they're not gonna hurt you. And maybe we should get these politicians back on track. Good lord. What are they doing that's helping us all? Nothing. They're dividing us. Stop buying into the bullshit. You ever thought about the fact that a country divided is a country easily controlled? When we're fighting amongst ourselves, what do you think they're doing? Get your head on straight, people. We need to unite. And I'm not talking.
fucking coups and military or bullshit like that. We need to put love first. We need to put respect first. We need to seek joy, happiness. Seek how to help, not harm. All right, I got under the soapbox. That's what I do once in a while. But it's all with good intentions. I'm gonna check out now because I didn't want this video to get too long. But just beware, you're gonna see some crazy stuff coming because I'm crazy. There you go, I'm crazy. Is that all bad? I think not. There's a lot of power in crazy. There's a lot of energy in crazy. Part of what makes me crazy is I figured out how to harness it and direct it. And it's a lot of fun when you're doing it for the right reasons and the good pure soul or with a good pure soul. All right, I'm wrapping it up. I was gonna try to stop at Charlie's Cafe to get caramel rolls, but I got a little too late. My dad loves Charlie's Cafe caramel rolls. But if I don't get there before noon, they sell out in them. So I missed it. It's 1.30 on a beautiful, partly cloudy day in Minnesota. This is Brian from Soil to Soul, switching back and forth. Ironically, Bee Horse Productions. Like I say, stay positive and don't let the dreams die. Peace out, y'all. Love.